Alright, good morning. Um, I have this thing on my neck. Not sure if you can see it. But I'm going to the doctor to get it looked at because it's been there since Sunday and it's been getting worse. So, we're going to the doctor so I can get it looked at because I'm... Yeah, it's like right here. Yeah, right there. And it hurts. Like a bitch. It like burns. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't I can barely touch it. So I want to get it looked at so that it's not like something horrible that I'm just not getting it looked at. So yeah, I just took a shower so my hair is like all slicked back. So yeah, this will be interesting. So here we are at the post office. Oh yeah. We're at the post office where all those little birds are up on the rooftop. So yep. We're at the post office getting the mail before we head out of town. Because <gasps> mom wants to, if there's a check in the mail, mom wants to be able to do banking while we're out. So, yeah, this is going to be a little bit crazy. Apparently, I have shingles. Like, that's what that is on my neck. I had no idea. And she says, don't itch it. Don't touch it. It'll spread. I'm like, oh my gosh. It can make you blind if it gets in your eye. So I'm really glad I did not rub my eyes after touching it. But she says it's looking like it's pretty dry now. So it should be okay. But if it starts to bubble, definitely don't touch it. But she's giving me a cream and an antibiotic to take for it. So hopefully... Hopefully it'll get better. <laughs> she also said that thing on my lip is apparently it used to, she thinks it might have been a blood blister and it just bubbled underneath the skin and then scarred. So she says the, the steroid cream should help that, that she's giving me. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my mom to come back now. So this should be fun. Say hello to the security camera right there. You can kind of see it. Right there. Say hello. So yeah, it's really pretty out here today. Just absolutely gorgeous. There's blue sky and there's a couple clouds. Then you've got this flowers here. Dandelions everywhere. I'm allergic to dandelions. Very allergic. They don't like me. But it does look nice. There's this barn here. And over here some flower, we got some more dandelions, got some bushes there, got some trees. Over there is the main road, there's campers way over there. This is the main road, the main drag over there is Route 20, which we were on yesterday, which I gotta go home and do the vlog now, from yesterday, because I haven't even gotten it off my camera yet because I've just been, I just, I had to rush out of the house today to go to the doctor so I could figure out what was wrong with my neck. Which, as I told you just a few minutes ago, is shingles. So, rah rah. So I'm out here soaking up some vitamin D. Enjoying myself. While I wait for my madre. Mi madre. Mi madre. It's, uh, I don't know what language that is, but 
Matara. She's my Matara. And there's the, but there's a bush, and there's a cool rock thing here. There's my Matara. There she comes. And it's just gotten progressively, she says it hurts. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. So I, took her to the I said, okay, call the doctor's office, see if you can get in. They only could get her in early for Amber. So we, we ran, we came out to Hamburg. She went to, the, I dropped her off at the doctor's. I went to Walmart. I came back and she goes, I'm so glad that I went to the doctor's. And she said, I said, why? And she goes, it's shingles, mom. Yeah. Being I'm, so nervous and anxious on Sunday. Made it, made is it what started it. what started it, she says. If you get nervous and anxious about something and you have that, um. Rash. You feel like you have an itch, don't don't itch it. She said if you have an itch, it started on Sunday. It was she has a it's um just below it looks her. Like, it looks like a rash on the it left side like of my a, neck. It looks like a rash on the on the left side of her neck. And she just told me today it start it started to hurt. When she turns her head toward the left, and I'm like, Well, are you sure you're okay? And she's like, I said, Well call the doctors because it's progressively gotten worse. So I, she called the doctors and we got in at 11 o'clock to the doctors and the doc, and the, she saw the nurse practitioner and she says, um, were you anxious on Sunday or nervous about something? And she says, well, I started a new job on Sunday, I mean on Monday. She goes, but it didn't work out. And she goes, that's the only thing, you know, it could have been. And she's like, well, that could do it. And she said that that's what it came from. And Cassie's had the shape has the chicken pox so it's already in your system so it's shingles and she was in your class on Sunday and in the nursery it is if you if for kids that have never had chicken pox if you touch your neck and if you touch the spot where it is in contact Jenny Jenny says it with kids that don't have um and have never had chicken that pox. have never had chicken pox I'm hoping that that does that helps. I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. Just so just so you're aware, and if somebody comes to you and says, "Does somebody in your class have chicken pox?" Just put it in the back of your mind for. Because Jenny says that Jenny says that she shouldn't even go to church because of that. Because to be around kids that have. I said, well, it's on her neck, and if they haven't laid their head on her neck or. Touched my neck. I touched her neck while she had it. It shouldn't be a problem. But you never know. Yeah, I told Pastor Mike. I said if she's not there Sunday, you'll know why. That it just hasn't, hasn't gotten better. Hasn't gotten any better, and we don't want to you know, expose any of the any of the rest of the people. So, but she'll be. Has Charlie had chicken pox? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, I will have to call his mother and answer. Because they're supposed to come on Sunday. Brian, Brian's texting his, his brothers. You guys are invited to come over to our house Sunday for dinner. And I'm thinking to myself, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, well, no, he says, did you contact any of my other brothers and sisters? Because we he texted me in last night and told him that he's, a, he's welcome to come over too because we're having dinner in our house with you and and I said okay and then he says to me here we are at value home center value home center mom's looking for a special chair a zero gravity chair they're special but um yeah that's why we're here I'm gonna take a nap I think soon I'm getting really tired so this is my screenery over here there's a puppy in the car over there. In the red truck, there's a dog. Kind of see him. He's too cute. Okay. She she seen it from the day before on Facebook, a teaching thing. Mm-hmm. It's probably 20.
Um, just gonna answer your question. I didn't give you the Walmart thing, did I? No, you didn't. You just tell me how much is on it. I can't remember. Okay. Uh, All right, here we go. Off to work. For the third time this week. And I get to tell them. I'm really hoping. I don't get in trouble for this. I like shingles. Well, I didn't know. I honestly didn't find out until today. Because it's been getting worse. It's been there since Sunday. It's been getting worse. Mm -hmm. So this is where I work. I'm eating, so. Mm. So, this is our MP pizzeria. We have orders in, but none are for my station, so I'm eating. I call it my my tender burrito. It's got tender nacho cheese and mushrooms in it. It is fabulous. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm all hot and sweaty, but this has been a nuts night. I you saw my little break, and then I just got I had to run some more when I got back in there. Holy crap! So my neck's a little off. I think. Close the camera. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I know I'm messing with the camera angle. It's on my nose. Haha, <laughs> it's an arrow on my nose. Okay, I'll be talking to you as soon as I get out of here. Hey, I'm finally out of the pizzeria. We're gonna go home now. Well, actually, I've been out of the pizzeria for like <laughs> almost half an hour. But Jan and I have been talking. Jan is like my best friend in a lot of ways. I love her to pieces. She can be a little bit. <laughs> She's very high strung, she's anxious at times, high anxiety, but she is a good person. I just feel bad for my aunt and uncle. I feel terrible for my aunt and uncle. They only have three people and they can't keep help because... I'm not going to say why because I don't need it to get back to them somehow. 
But I feel terrible. You know what I mean? I feel bad for Jan, especially. Because Jan has been working with them since I, even when they, they dropped me. Well, didn't really drop me, but yeah, dropped me is a good way to put it. So now I'm trying to work with Jan. And I feel bad for Jan because she gets to get ripped apart just like everybody else who works there. Oh, well, here we are back at home. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. feel bad for coming home so late, but I needed just all to vent it out without probably doing it to my parents. Alright, peace.